There's been a lot of hype and promise since Little Big Planet was first announced. Sony's been dropping tidbits about the game's powerful creation tools for some time, and its adorable mascot, Sackboy, has been slowly taking over the internet with his sack puppet charm. Well, the game is finally here, and amazingly, it's actually exceeded my expectations. There's still some quirks here and there which detract from the overall experience in some small ways, but know this, the game absolutely delivers. Little Big Planet is a game about the eternal struggle between crazy-looking sack puppets and the hazardous environments that they call home. It's a 2D platform at its heart, but you can move between three different planes, the foreground, midground, and background. This works well overall, but the planes can be problematic sometimes. Sackboy automatically switches between planes when you jump when the game thinks that you need to, but this can be inconsistent. Sometimes you jump to things you don't want to, sometimes the auto-jump doesn't actually kick in, and sometimes you'll grab things in a plane that you don't want to be in. Also, since everything in the game is physics-based, the actual platforming isn't refined as, say, a Mario game. Manipulating your dude in the air and while he jumps isn't quite as responsive as you'd like it to be. But like I said, these problems don't even come close to ruining the experience. And what an experience it is. First off, the presentation, graphics, and sound are just fantastic. This is a very unique looking game. It's colorful, whimsical, and twisted all at once, and runs smoothly throughout the experience. The soundtrack is equally impressive with a range of very cheerful beats, and it's just a very happy game overall. Something that's refreshing in a world of blood-soaked shooters. Now everyone knew LBP would have an extensive focus on its online community, and we'll get to that in a minute. But what was surprising to me is just how solid the story portion of the game is. These are levels that Media Molecule made themselves, and their level design gets crazier and crazier as you progress. Each level is very unique, even when compared to others in the same theme, and some of the designs are simply brilliant. If you run straight through the game without really hunting for items, you can breeze through in, you know, five or six hours, but each stage encourages you to play through them multiple times. You can get awards if you meet certain criteria, there are countless objects and costumes collect that can be then used in the create mode, there are specific co-op challenges, and lots, lots more. If the game was just the story mode alone, it would still be an amazing title. But obviously that's not the case. The level creator is unlike anything that's been done on consoles before. There are a ton of different tools in the game, and listing them all would be a lost cause, but just be assured that you can change and tinker with pretty much any aspect in any level that you want. Things like ca uh, camera movement, sound cues, enemies, whatever. Well, maybe not whatever, but pretty close. Overall, it's very easy to put levels together and create objects. It's a flexible creator that people of many different skill levels can use. User-created objects can also be saved and shared to other people, or added as collectible objects in your own level, so that other people can collect your content and then use them in their own levels online, so you may actually see stuff that you've made used in other people's levels when you're jumping online. I do have a few problems with the creator, though. The tutorials are very informative and explain everything very well, but they do tend to drag on more than they should, and you can't queue up a bunch of them to watch all at once. You need to keep selecting new objects and then wait for the next one to load. In addition to that, there are a few weird bugs of things unattaching themselves randomly, and I wish you could save states in the levels instead of just undoing actions all the time, since it means that sometimes you'll accidentally trigger a trap, not realize it, and then have to go back later and manually pick up the pieces, put them back the way they were, and then, you know, continue on from there. One final thing that should be mentioned is that the interface that deals with all of the community stuff is really slick. You can see the levels that your friends have hearted, and then see more levels by the people who created those levels, and then see the levels that those people like, and it just keeps going on from there. You can search for levels, send invites, play levels online while keeping your parties together, modified user-created levels if they allow it. Really, the game does exactly what you would hope that it would do, and it does a really fantastic job of keeping the community aspect together, and the interface that keeps all that going is really slick. There's a lot to talk about with this game, but just know that Little Big Planet is a fantastic title overall, and a great exclusive for PS3 fans everywhere. Games this unique don't come around very often, so do yourself a favor and check it out, because this really is an instant classic. For the full written review, log on to IGN.com.